are you too busy to make art? Do you find it's just really hard to find the, the time to draw on a regular basis? Do you just keep putting it off? I, I know that feeling. I've had it too. And I'm going to tell you how I fixed it and how you can too. I mean, I, I was really busy. I was working. I had family matters. I had chores. But I knew that making art made me happy. And the more I made it, the better the results were, the happier I got. I just needed to find time to draw. So one day I had this idea. And it all stemmed from a really simple habit. Each morning I would walk into the kitchen right after I got out of bed and I'd put on the kettle and I'd wait for the water to boil. And I'd have to stand around and wait for several minutes. I'd stare out the window. I would look at social media on my phone. And then eventually the kettle would boil and I would pour the hot water onto my tea bag. And then I have to wait again while the tea steeped. And when the tea cooled down enough, I could have my first sip of the day. I love tea. Now, this whole process would take around 8 or 10 minutes, and it was time wasted, time killed, dead time, blank time, time in between things. So one day I had this idea. I brought my sketchbook with me, and as I made my tea, while the water boiled and the tea steeped, I drew my cup. So those 8 or 10 minutes were spent doing a drawing of my teacup. It was a simple thing, but it was a real pleasure. And I decided to keep a sketchbook right next to my kettle. So every morning when I would come in, I would turn on the kettle, prepare my cup, grab my sketchbook, and draw for 10 minutes. Day after day, I drew my teacup. It was just me and my cup and my sketchbook and my pen, meeting every morning for 10 minutes. Sometimes I would practice cross-hatching. Sometimes I would look at the way the light fell on my teacup. I might draw it from a slightly different perspective. I might draw it in a slightly different way because I slept well or not well. And those little factors might change my style. Now you might say, who needs all these drawings of a teacup? Well, I learned a huge amount from this 10-minute practice. I gained more confidence. My marks improved. I studied light and shading, perspective. I improved my hatching. Sometimes the drawings were bad. It didn't matter. Sometimes the tea was bad, too. I would just turn the page, and the next day I would do a different drawing, maybe a better one. I learned a lot about drawing during these 10-minute sessions, things that apply to drawing teacups and all kinds of other things, too. And I trained my brain and my fingers and my eyes to work better together. But that wasn't the real power of this practice. What mattered was the daily habit, turning on the kettle, picking up my sketchbook, day after day. I made it easy by stacking this new habit on top of my original one, connecting drawing to tea making. And it was so easy. All I needed was 10 minutes, 10 minutes to start my day in a wonderful way, 10 minutes I'd just been killing anyway. If you're overly busy, if you're overthinking things, if you can't figure out how to make art a regular part of your life, if you're plagued with perfectionism, why not try something like this, connecting a simple, regular habit you have with drawing? What's a regular thing that you do, and could you enhance it by making some art? I promise it'll make a huge difference to your drawing and to your happiness. Oh, and if you like this idea, you might like my new book, it's called You Do You, and it's a book of essays about the creative process, about giving yourself permission and the opportunity to be creative. Fun, snackable little ideas, kind of like this video, and all of them are illustrated too. Learn more and order a copy on my website, dannygregory.com. I hope you'll pick up my book, and I hope you'll pick up a habit and a sketchbook too. I think they'll be just your cup of tea.